Hi, this is Vicky. In this video, I'm just going to explain about data list attribute of HTML. Um, this is very helpful for developers. It will be listed. I mean, pre. I mean, it will be. I mean, you, we can predefine these options here. Whatever the options here, that will be listed in our browser. So, like this. So, what I'm going to do is, I mean, you can key also, but still, uh, as this is not, I mean. Um, it's it's a not completed one but but we are just going to look on to the HTML code that's why it's going to the error page uh, here it's you can enter this also and then you can choose this from the list data list also it's mean you can predefine this will be very helpful for developers so to add this in HTML code here what I'm going to this is a form form method I have created here so here what I'm going to do is uh, I have added this is just demo you can add I mean PHP how oh, this is an uh, server-side script language once the all validation is done so just I mean switch on this auto completion is on and input type is text first name last name and email ID this course name here if you want to mention this data listed here it should be I mean if it want to list the data here you need to add the course input tab uh, the list ID is equal to the courses this both the name is be should be in same the courses and the courses if you change this one something here it will not work here um, I'm just saving this one so I'm just refreshing see you cannot see anything here here you can see I am just changing this now S yes, and saving it and you can see this now I'm just refreshing yeah refresh see you can this will be visible only if you mouse over the input field to list the data options I mean to uh, get the data list here see you can see the list here now this is this will be very helpful and we need not to add this JavaScript at all for this in HTML we can add it in the back into the HTML code itself this is the main thing data list you can create that ID is equal to courses the ID should be uh, I mean should be mentioned in the HTML tag that attribute inside this course field that's it you can um, you can use the same method for this for of all of your I mean data list here option is yes. you can modify the I mean options everything at whenever you want that's it uh, hope it will be very useful tutorial for this data list attribute HTML uh, that's it thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel www.youtube.com slash please provide your comments and feedbacks in my video forums thank you bye